As the countdown to Flight 8 draws near, Thursday evening we saw SpaceX prep for pre-flight checks starting with the lowering of the chopsticks to the hard stop position. The next day, with the dampened weather at Starbase, one of the cranes was moved away from the Pad A launch area to protect it from the upcoming launch blast. As the launch pad technicians continued their work, the ship quick disconnect swung out. Shortly after, the chopsticks were fully raised to the launch position for simulated catching operations. About an hour and a half later, a series of catch tests followed. It's critical to make sure they're in perfect working order as there's zero room for error in catching the 233 foot tall rocket. Once testing was complete, the chopsticks were lowered back down to their hard stop. Throughout the next day, the hot stage ring adapter was transported between Mega Bay 1 and Star Factory multiple times as Booster 15 was being prepared for launch. This adapter protects the first stage rocket as the Starship ignites its engines while still attached to the booster. With Booster 15 seemingly ready now, workers moved the booster transport stand into Mega Bay 1. After the booster was loaded on the stand, Mega Bay 1's door was fully open. Within a few hours, Booster 15 emerged with its grid fins rotated so it could be rolled out of the building. Shortly after midnight, with the roads closed, the hot stage ring adapter and Booster 15 departed the production site. Watching these massive vehicles roll down the highway as they parade down Highway 4 never seems to get old. After about a 90 minute trip, they both arrived at the D2 gate. The booster then made its way to the launch mount as workers prepped it for the lift. At the break of dawn, the booster was ready and was raised up and placed on the launch mount. The following step will be to attach the hot stage ring before mounting the Starship. The following moments were truly breathtaking as a sea of fog engulfed the Starbase area.